I'm in Birmingham today to film some footage for a HS2 video looking at Birmingham Curzon Street but I thought it probably be a good idea to record a video about the Midland Metro east side extension which will eventually take trams from Corporation Street via HS2 to Digbeth. I'm currently stood in the middle of New Canal Street which is where HS2 will eventually cross the tram line so it's crazy to think actually just above me will be the new HS2 station and tracks and just down this road will be trams and a new tram stop roughly in this sort of location which will be the stop for HS2 itself adjacent to the existing Curzon Street station which is just behind me. The £230 million extension of the West Midlands Metro to Digbeth is a key element of the wider Birmingham Eastside redevelopment plan and will also be key to improving connectivity to and from the new HS2 Curzon Street station. Although the main concourse for the new Curzon Street station will be adjacent to Moore Street station and just a short five or six minute walk from New Street station, the Metro extension will improve overall accessibility, meaning those who are less mobile will be able to change between HS2 and New Street services, as well as allowing passengers to easily reach other parts of the city. Work on the extension is already well underway, with a key junction on Bull Street already taking shape. The triangular junction will allow trams to travel between Edgebaston Village and Digbeth. This service will also serve as the connection between Curzon Street and New Street stations. The junction will also allow trams to travel between Wolverhampton and Digbeth, and as now, between Wolverhampton and Edgebaston Village. Demolition work is taking place to the south of the new junction to demolish the King's Parade site on Dale End in order to make way for the tracks heading from Bull Street towards the first new tram stop that will be Albert Street. From there the line will cross Moore Street Queensway before heading past the Clayton Hotel and then crossing Park Street. Utility works are already largely complete along Park Street as far as New Canal Street where the tracks turn sharply to head south past the existing Curzon Street building and then onto New Canal Street itself. The stop on New Canal Street will serve as the interchange for HS2 services with access to the HS2 platforms which will be overhead and roughly in the middle of the 400 meter long station. From New Canal Street the line will head south underneath the West Coast Main Line to the next stop on Mirrodin Street after which there'll be one last stop on High Street Duratend in Digbeth. I only had time to travel as far as Mirrodin Street but it's clear to see that preparatory works are well underway with signs that utility works have already recently been carried out. It was hoped that the extension could be open as soon as 2025 and that certainly seemed achievable. However, it was reported at the start of this year that the line may not open now until 2027 due to conflicting with work to build Curzon Street Station. As Curzon Street Station will be constructed above New Canal Street, then work to complete the tram line and install overhead line equipment can only take place once the structure for the new HS2 station is complete. The business case for the extension states that the plan is for the line to be served by five trams per hour between Digbeth and Edgebaston Village and five trams per hour between Wolverhampton and Digbeth, with five trams from Wolverhampton to Edgebaston per hour. In order to provide the service, seven new CAF built Urbo 3 trams will be required, which will be fitted with batteries, which are needed as the section of track past the town hall does not have OLE. So that's progress so far on the east side extension. As I plan to visit Birmingham again this year to update on HS2 progress, then I will undoubtedly keep you up to date on any further progress on the tram extension. But I'm going to leave it there for today. Say until next time. Bye bye.